as a former Woman of Achievement Award honoree in 2011. Uh, so I am very pleased to return and celebrate this fantastic organization. To me, women have always been in theater. So uh, a project like this, of course I support it. I think people tend to have tired notions of what it means to be a women's theater or what kind of plays women write. And I feel like this season, we proved everybody wrong. Most of my life, I've been a woman. Um, <laughs> So I'm delighted to be here for the Women's Project. It's an extraordinary night. As an avid theater goer and a playwright myself, I, I'm so pleased to support the important work that this organization does. Hmm. We played father-daughter father, father -daughter relationship. We did. And occasionally we'd pick up a guitar, Margot and I, and we'd sing a song or two just to put some music in the air. And one day Lisa heard us doing that and she said, what did you think about contributing a, a tune to the, the gala? And we said, are we really the best you've got? And what is she saying? She said yes indeed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're here. With the support of a major three-year grant from the Royal Little Family Foundation, we have recently closed a deal to move into the McGinn Cazal Theater on the Upper West Side. Pure and simple, I'm uh, an unapologetic feminist and I think the world needs a women's project. WP is going to have its own theatrical home again, and we cannot wait to throw our name up on the marquee on Broadway and 76th Upper West Side, represent. Right now is the time for women. We have Hillary, we have other women doing great things, and I think that people are very aware of the contributions of women as never before, so they must be supported. But if anyone ever put the go in You Go Girl, or the heart in Heartfelt, for the Butte in Beautiful, it's this evening's first woman of achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart, I celebrate this woman, the gorgeous and amazing Stephanie George. I admire the great work this organization is doing by investing in the future of groundbreaking theater for women. I really applaud you. It's, it's very hard. I get it. Please welcome Margot Seibert and Jeb Brown. I learned so much from her and she became one of my greatest female role models of all time. There's no one better to learn from than Tyne Daly, on stage and off stage. When I was a girl, I, I'm, I very much wanted to be somebody else. I think that motivates a lot of actors. I find myself humbled tonight because tonight uh, is one of the rare times when I'm really glad that I'm myself instead of anybody else. Thank you very much. Please, please welcome to the stage Olivier Award nominee, Sierra Bogus. I don't care, I don't care if people frown on me. Perhaps it's the lone way, but I go my own way. That's my philosophy. I don't um, this past January, she was named PNG's group president of North America, where she leads a $32 billion business in the US Canada and Puerto Rico, please join me in celebrating Carolyn Tastad. That's why I love what Women's Project stands for. You're not only creating these great opportunities for women today, but you're also providing examples for young girls, enabling them to see future opportunities for themselves in theater and to see positive role models for women and girls through the arts. It's been fantastic, uh, fantastic people to be honored, fantastic performing, such a good vibe in this room. Uh, thank you so much for being here to support the Women's Project and these spectacular women.